Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today's a quick one. You're gonna learn how to remove night spawns of goblins, seekers, and chard from your dedicated Valheim server. We'll be using the Bepinex mod Cronjob by Yere. This mod is a very simple mod to use, and all you need to do is just put it on the server. It has nothing to do with your players, and there's no requirements for your players. But before we get into the mod itself and how it exactly works, let's talk about the problem. You see, Valheim is designed in a way where one player progressing will change the danger of this peaceful initial starting biome. It doesn't matter whether you have a player-based raids modifier or not, this setting with spawns is the same. There's certain bosses in the game, starting with Yugluth, the boss of the plains. Once the player kills this particular boss, the game will then save a value called a key that Yugluth has died. Once any single player on the server kills that boss, it's going to add a value to the server called a key. In this case, the key would be defeated Goblin King. Once that key exists on the server, it's now Goblin party time every night in the meadows. But it's not actually unique to the meadows. What's really going on is that night spawning is adjusted. So if your character is in the meadows at night, you're gonna meet goblins, and they spawn alerted and they'll come and hunt you down. And this is basically what you'll see. You'll be in the night in the meadows and there will be goblins spawning around you. And the worst part is these aren't even normal goblins. They're goblins with hunt on, so they always know where you are and they come and get you. But obviously, we don't want that. And I'm not going to show you that the same thing happens for Chard and also for the Queen. I'm just going to tell you. This is how it works. These are the values that are causing night spawns to show up on your server. Now you understand, so I can show you how to fix it. You'll need to be running a server that has Bepinex installed already. Once your server has Bepinex installed on it, then you're going to go into the Bepinex folder on the server and then open up the plugins section. This is where you're going to put cronjob dll from the link in the description, or you can just google Valheim cronjob. And once you've launched the server once, you can go into the config here, and there will be this file, cron.yaml. We're going to be making a quick edit to this cron.yaml file, and this edit is going to be what stops your server from having this problem. But before I do that, I need to explain to you a little bit about how the cron file works so that you understand. So we'll open it up and I'll give you a quick tour of Path of Magic's cron file. We can see that at the very top there are things under the join. There's this colon here after join, right? That tells cron do these commands when a player logs on to the server. So if you wanted, you could make it so every time the player logs on, all the keys get set. But I'm gonna show you how to set it up so every six hours, all the keys get set. We need to scroll down because this is irrelevant to you. All this stuff just has to do with when you're warning players about a server restart. You won't have that. The only part that is relevant to you is right here. Nothing else matters to you, so yours is actually very simple. Let's actually remake this cron so that it would be like the one you're going to use. We're going to get rid of all of these extra flavor text commands that I use, and I'm going to get rid of every job on the server and replace them with just the ones that are relevant to you. We can see that Path of Magic every six hours removes the Bone Mask key, the Motor key, the Queen key, the Goblin key, and the Fader key. But as we mentioned earlier, we right now only care about the Night Spawns. That means we don't need to get rid of these other keys. Because the keys that cause night spawning are Goblin King, Yugluth, this gives goblins at night, and then Defeated Queen, this is the Seekers at night, and then Defeated Fader, this is Chard at night. So this way, Kron will remove the key every six hours. 
But if you want it to be more reliable, you could make it so Kron removes the key every hour. That would mean that if somebody kills Fader, there's spawns in the meadows for the maximum of one hour after they killed Fader. But if you really wanted to, you could change it even more. But in order to do that, you have to know about these Kron schedules. And to do that, you can just use this really handy website called Kron Guru. You see here, it tells you exactly what the schedule is. And you can click this random button, and then it'll show you the different ones. And so you can just find one that you like. So we're looking for every, let's say, five minutes. The easiest way to do that is just search Kron every five minutes, like that. And then Kron Guru is going to catch that search and then give you the command exactly as you want. So we're going to then take this command, go to the text file. We're going to replace it like this. This would make it so every five minutes, the game checks and removes these keys. You don't need to do it that often, but this would pretty much mean you don't have any night spawns except for five minutes after the boss dies. And that's it. It's actually really easy to get rid of night spawns on your Valheim server. Now, there is one catch here because the egg that the trader sells is also tied to the Yagluth key. So if you remove that key, the trader isn't going to sell eggs anymore. Personally, I think that is a small price to pay considering you only need one person to have one egg and then all of the eggs the trader sells are completely irrelevant for every player on the server forever. So yeah, I'd rather not have the goblin spawns. And that's it for this video. Do you want to rent your own Valheim server? Well, you can follow along with the tutorials I've been showing and even make custom quests that are vanilla friendly. I've been focused on studying it so that I can make tutorials for more people to be into this stuff. And if you want to support my work, then a great way to do it is to rent a Valheim server from the server host that I have an affiliate relationship with. I'll get a cut of this and you'll get your own dedicated Valheim server that you can start experimenting with. I hope you enjoyed this video and if there's anything else you'd like to learn regarding Valheim or server management, then comment below. I'll be happy to make you a tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!